Love Tunes TV and PCTK presents The Monkey and the Lion A story of sacrifice and courage Once upon a time in the Maya Kingdom There was a waterfall close to a rocky hill in the middle of the Manzi village, whose healing power was known throughout the four villages of the kingdom. The water had many precious things in it, and it was believed to have healing powers and would heal anyone who drinks it. But no one ever dared to go close and to take water from it, because the only path leading to the waterfall was guarded by a pack of lions. Every lion had a family, and the king of the lions stayed back to guard the village while the lions went out to hunt for food. Far across the Maya kingdom was another village called Bende. In Bende lived a community of monkeys whose king was highly regarded in the land because through him they had gained great victory for the village. He was such a great warrior but he had a baby daughter who was born blind. Now he had many soldiers who went into battle, and upon returning after a conquest, one of his soldiers came to him with an interesting story. Oh, great king of the monkeys, live forever. As you know, we have returned from our journey, and while away I heard an interesting tale of a healing waterfall located in the nearby village of Manzi. It is said to have healing powers, but no one has proved it because the lions guard it and the great king of the lions lives there. On hearing this, the monkey queen, who had been sitting and listening, spoke up. I will go in search of the waterfall. The monkey king tried to stop her, but she didn't listen. I can't sit here and watch my baby daughter grow up blind for the rest of her life. I don't mind if I get eaten by the lions, she said bravely. The next day she set out to the village of Manzi to find the waterfall. And when she got there, she hid herself in the bushes to avoid being spotted by the lions that were going out for their daily hunt. She waited patiently for them to all leave. And then she seized the opportunity and hurried through to the middle of the village where she saw the most fascinating waterfall. She quickly took some water in her bowl. As she turned to leave, she met the Lion King, who was patrolling the waterfall. He came close to her and said, It is not right to take what doesn't belong to you, and for that I will have to kill you. She thought to herself, 
I shall speak bravely and tell my story to the lion, and he would have compassion on me. I didn't mean to steal. There was no one around, and I need the water for my baby daughter, who is blind. Please forgive me and let me go. If you help me, I will repay you someday, said the queen monkey. The lion thought for a while and said, How could a monkey ever repay me? It seems funny, but I will let you go. It's for your baby daughter. She was full of joy and thanked the lion and hurried off. She arrived safely home, discussed all that had happened between her and the lion with her husband, then gave the water to her baby daughter to drink, and her daughter began to see instantly. What joy filled the whole Bende village, and the queen monkey was celebrated for her bravery. Many years passed after that incident, and one fateful day when the lions went about their business of hunting, the Lion King was taking a walk close to the Bende village when he fell into a trap made by the hyenas. Help! Help! Somebody help me! The lion cried. But no one came to his rescue. Unable to free himself from the trap, he roared angrily and injured himself. It just happened that the Queen Monkey was also taking a stroll when she heard the lion roaring in distress. She came to the ditch where the lion was, and when she saw him, she recognised him and thought of helping him. She called on the monkey soldiers, who helped bring him out of the ditch. The lion was very grateful. You laughed when I said I would repay you, said the queen monkey. Now you can see that even a monkey can help a lion. You are right, said the lion. So the lion king and the king monkey and the two villages made a pact of peace from that day. King Lion always thought that he could never need help from anyone let alone a monkey queen. But that day he learned that anyone could be helped. It is not hard to be nice and do good to those around us. Luke 631 tells us that we should do unto others what we want them to do to us. It's what God did, and still does for us, the least we could do is return the favor. Another important lesson to be learned is from the monkey queen. The monkey queen loved her blind daughter so much. And never gave up on her and she brought her healing. Dot much more God so loved us and came to save us in Jesus Christ. Whosoever believes in him as the Bible says in John 3.16, should not perish but have everlasting life. And in Romans 10.9, If you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and will believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Hello kids, if you like to make Jesus the Lord of your life, and be part of our super family, say this prayer after me, and make Jesus your best friend. Dear God, Thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for sending Jesus to save me. I believe Jesus died for me. And God raised him from the dead for me. and he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my heart. And now I am born again. Thank you Lord Jesus for saving me. 
You are my best friend now. Hallelujah! Congratulations and welcome to the family of God. Visit us for more on lovetunes.org. See you next time. Bye!